Welcome to Client Portal Managing Incoming Documents. So your clients are going to send you documents, W-2s, 1099s, through the portal and where they come in is right under the office overview where it says your office portal has, in this example, five new messages. So I click on the link, I'll pop into my client portal message page and from here I can see a few things going on. It shows Michelle Bishop updated her client information um, and also I see there's three new client documents uploaded from Jeff Case. Okay, so these are the three I'm gonna focus in on because as they send you the documents, I'm gonna show you how you manage them and where you, you move them appropriately to the right year. So when Jeff sent me the documents, he didn't designate what year they are. Um, typically we can assume they're for the current year. I mean, if it's anything different, they should specify what it is. But if I go ahead and click on, uh, I'm gonna click on this right here. The description is W2 from Myers, okay. If I want to view it, I can go ahead and click this link. That'll actually show me what the document looks like. If I want to visit my permanent docu documents page, because when, when Jeff sent the documents to me, they all go to the permanent documents page of the client file. And if you want more information on that, I'll refer you to document management under permanent documents. So what we want to do is we go to the permanent documents page and then we move them to the appropriate year. So I can just go ahead and click on here, click on, I'm gonna go right to their permanent documents page. And right here I see the three, they're all in here together. So this is a W2 Myers, that's how I link to there. So this is gonna be for a tax year 2014 on this individual return. So what I need to do is get it out of my permanent documents because permanent documents is just for um, anything that's going to go forward year after year. It's not organized really at all. All it is is organized by it's in the client's file and that's it. So um, if you left everything in here, it'd be very hard to have any kind of organization. So we want to move it to the appropriate business type and the appropriate year. So if your clients are sending you bookkeeping files, they are all going to go in the client file permanent documents and then you move them to the appropriate spot. So in this example, I can move right down here uh, Jeff's been with me since 2003. I can move it to any one of these years for the business type tax preparation. All right, if he had uh, bookkeeping, it would display bookkeeping business type two and I could move it. So very easily, this is just kind of the holding, holding bin and then you move it to the appropriate place. So I'm gonna move it to 2014 tax prep. All I do is select here, I check the box. In this case, it's W2 Myers, I hit go. And now it's gone. And if you look here, complete portal message. So that message Jeff sent to me was just sending me the W-2 for Myers. So there's nothing, I don't need to reply back to Jeff. If I hit complete portal message right here, it'll then close that portal message out on the home page. So if I go back to my home page now, four new messages. If you notice Jeff, originally he had three, now he's down to two. So because I moved that W-2 from Myers and I linked, if I click on this, because I linked directly from here into his file, then Adam knew which one to complete. So I'll do it again. Permanent documents, I'll click here. So I'm going right into his permanent documents page and now it's interest income. Again, I'm gonna move this to, to 2014, hit go. It's been moved and now I can complete it. So I can do it all in one step, all from here. So if they're sending me just individual files, it's quicker just to do it right here to complete it. Now I'm gonna go back to my home page, down to three messages, only one more remaining for Jeff here for an uploaded document. I click on the view icon and now Jeff has an, a business also, XTax. So he's sending everything through his individual account, but this actually should go to his business XTax, which is set up as a corporation. But for Jeff, it's easier for him just to log in under his individual with his social and his password, and then he doesn't have to go ahead and log in under XTax too. So he's sending everything to him, to us, in his individual account. That's easiest for Jeff. He doesn't care what if it's confusing on our end, but now we know to move it to XTax account. So to do that, again, I'm just gonna click on here, go right into the permanent documents page. And because I've linked XTax to Jeff's file, 
and for linking, I'll refer you how to set that up. It's going to be covered in the client file section under link clients. It'll tell you how to actually link a client file to one another. But so what I need to do is I can't move, if I move this file, um, right now it's just under Jeff's name, so I can move it to any business type related to Jeff, but now to move it to another client file, which is Xtax, I'm gonna move over to this column here, the drop down menu, move to link client account documents. I select this, and now here's my Xtax. So it's 2014, so it's going to my link client, which I link Xtax, and it's 2014 and it's going to go in the account documents because that's where I want it to go. So 2014, I've checked the box, I hit go, and then boom. Now it's out of, everything's cleaned out of the permanent documents. The only thing left in permanent documents in this example is my taxpayer's ID. So typically all we're going to have is ID and social security cards are in permanent documents, typically. Account documents are going to contain all the appropriate source documents for that business type for that appropriate year. So now if I want to go ahead and see if everything got moved, in this example for Jeff, if I just go to account documents, that's going to go ahead and send me right into this here, and here's the interest income, here's the W-2. Okay, so those were moved to the appropriate year, 2014. I'm going to go back. Oh, doesn't like that. Okay, I'm going to go back to my permanent documents. And now I'm going to switch over to X tax and I'll go to account documents and for 2014 income X tax. That was the, the document that I moved. So go back to my home page now. As you notice, Jeff still shows he has that one document because if you notice, I didn't link back and, and I didn't select the complete. So what I now what I want to do for Jeff for this X tax document is come in here, and all I do now is just mark it complete. So all Jeff was doing is sending me the document. I don't need to reply back. I could if I want to say thanks for sending the document, but I don't think really that's needed. You just want to then complete this, get it off your home page because nothing more needs to be done. You moved it to the appropriate place. So I just hit complete, hit OK. Go to my home page now. Now I just have two new messages. There they are right here. And I've cleaned up Jeff's documents that he sent me. So to summarize, client sends you the document. It automatically goes into that client's permanent documents page. You then go to the permanent documents page and then you then move them to the appropriate account year and business type or they may even have to go to a, a link client. So say if the individual is sending you documents for their business um, through their individual account. That's all I have, thank you.